What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Occult Gaming Channel with me your host Bella Wright and we are continuing with some Undernight Inbirth uh, EXE latest uh, Chronicles mode we're going to continue with Odier. We've done our first two chapters and we're going to move on to chapter three. Uh, the cool thing about this is chapter one had one setting, chapter two had two settings, maybe chapter three will have three settings. Either way, I'm having a blast, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, we have a meeting with Wagner coming up, and Oye really, really does not want to talk to her. So uh, before we get started, one of the things I did want to say is that one of the more enjoyable things about this, um, essentially we're reading a visual novel, one of the most enjoyable things about it, though, is the fact that uh, the music is so good, as you can um, hear from just me sitting at this menu here. So one of the things I noticed about the last episode was the music was exceptional uh, I step out of the shop without putting on my coat to find the Crimson Knight so I guess she left her coat and things in there with uh, Lex so so last time uh, well, Wagner or Wagner, I forgot how they pronounced it, Wagner. She's, she was basically staring a hole into them with her aura. So I wonder if she's just outside the window staring into the shop menacingly. Like, I'm very curious about this. They're really hyping, uh, I'm just gonna call it Wagner. They're really hyping Wagner up to be some type of dickhead. Good question. True. Now I did say um, it reminded me of Dragon Ball Z last time or Dragon Ball. But it's also very similar to Hunter x Hunter, the way they identify each other uh, with their nin. But I think more specific, I think it is more specifically like Dragon Ball because they're identifying actual characters, like like personalities and stuff like that through uh, through the key aura. So EXS, the magic power, seems to work like key aura. Most of the magic power systems have something similar, so I guess this can be the same. But from what we know about EXS, is it is a magic substance of some sort. It at least uh, empowers magical abilities. Mm, okay, okay. So I wonder if uh, Wagner with her aura is actually doing, is actually able to see them. Or if she's able to read their aura from her distance. I wonder if, if that's what they mean by gaze. They're really taking this concept and really um, running with it, really. Okay, okay. So it's like feeling like somebody's staring at you but on steroids. Close enough, I guess. It's like psychic communication. But if she's already watching with her aura, then shouldn't she already know where you're at? But I guess you're trying to let her know that you know that she knows. Okay. Okay. 
この地での一番最初の試練になりそう。Interesting. The back alley was a bit dark, surrounded by buildings, despite, being, despite it being daytime. It wasn't the sort of beautiful place where girls might be talking to each other, but we didn't have a choice in order not to be seen. I checked again that there wasn't anyone around us and turned around and called out to her. Konnichiwa! So, Koni Iru no desho, Kyomugari. Kono yo na higashi no hate no chide de yao nante. Otagai kigu na koto ne. This beat is sick. I'm actually kind of excited about this meeting because they've been hyping up Wagner and his beat is sick. <laughs> She has a dead ass face. Her face looks like a bug of some sort. I don't. Even her hair looks like the tiny little pincers of some sort of bug. The Crimson Knight Erica Wagner or Eric, Erika Wag Wagner. Erika Wagner. Uh, she's famous within the Leek Crease and boasts that name, the Crimson Knight. She uses the power of fire passed down to her through generations and cuts down those who oppose the Leek Crease with her sword. She got a KK Genkai up in this bitch. Uh, she's unparalleled in her sense of justice with thorough, merciless wrath toward those who use the EXS wrongly. Her name is the source of much fear, the Crimson Knight. She's a badass. She kind of seems a little bit out of place in this game. She seems kind of like a soul caliber character. Uh, even Idol held holds absolute confidence in her strength and considering her long history of achievements, her influence is strong within the leap crease. So I wonder is this like her theme, like this militaristic beat. No one will argue if she were to be called the leap crease itself. That's how much authority her family name holds. That's fine and all, but I think you need to have some outside world experience to, you know, be of more use. She's apparently been stalking you, and you sent the call out to her, so it's kind of like you want to meet her. You know what I mean, Oye? Perhaps a uniform from this land, she wrapped herself in a new red cloth and gazed at me in a dignified posture. I don't know what that face is. That's not dignified. I guess that is kind of haughty. I could see that there were two girls standing just behind her. They were likely attendants to the Crimson Knight. They could be there to aid her or to monitor her, or maybe both. <laughs> いそがしい身であろうあなたがレクスを尾行や待ち伏せなんてことは冗談でもありえない。私の歓迎会を開いてくれるということでもなさそうだしね。Interesting. Trying to get a read on her character. Oh. It's a little testy between these two. I like it. Oh, now she's mad. Miss Bug Eyes. Sure. What a fucking thousand yard stare? Okay. Sokka, Arigato. Anata ga koko ni kite iru nante, mattaku kiite nakatta kara bikkuri shitta. Hmm, being kind of fake there, Oriye. Kedo, ano aisatsu dake wa mou skoshi nanto ka shite yo ne. Right. Futsu ni koe o kakete kurereba ii deshou ni. Right, she being weird and shit. Kiga tsukanai yo nara. お互いその程度の縁であったということ 
Because <laughs> she was. Now she's being fake as fuck. You calling her on it? Self mockery. Though she has a renowned name, this side of her makes her seem much more, <laughs> much more her age as a child. That's funny. That's funny. So then, once I was a high set, so stick with it. Okay, the writing, the writing is really good. The writing is really, really good. I gotta admit. At first, I was like, why are the cutscenes so long? But I'm into it now. Short silence dominates the area. I guess that she has some deep reasoning that she can't easily mention. What? <laughs> she want friends? Apparently she needs help. そんなの全然尺とかそういうのないじゃない。気にしないでどんどん聞いてよ。あ、そうだ。お話なら私たちがいたさっきのお店に戻らない。Translation is kind of kind of funky on this. Um, supposed to say those two behind her seem like they're having fun. Uh, I guess they are really close. That's funny. I was distracted by the two charming girls in the back. The Crimson Knight's mouth closed. The Crimson Knight's closed mouth showed no sign of opening. Erika, Erika, what the fuck do you want? What does she want? What does she want? A deep sigh. Their head hung. Is this <laughs> is it really that serious? They're really stretching this out. It's hilarious. I wanna hear what she has to say too, because you guys have been stretching it out for like the past five minutes. Short silence. Then, as if finally gathering up her determination, taking a deep breath in, her lips begin to move. Why I was brought here. Stretching the fuck out of this, and now the goofy music. Ugh. What? おい。私の発言をちゃんと理解しているか。私がここに来ることになった理由を教えてくれと言っているんだ。なんだこれは。なぜこんなことを毎日金ばならぬ。Wants She's so embarrassed about that. <laughs> Oh. She didn't even know the mission. They just sent her here on some like some raw, some raw shit. Like, go to Japan. You're banished. You're on punishment. Go to Japan. You 
get this right. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Well, you you involved yourself, so take care of this, please. What? Hold on, I gotta read this over. I wish she'd come after having a thorough conversation about this between the one giving the mission. What? what? Wish she'd come after having a thorough conversation about this between the one giving the mission, Erica herself. If necessary, those two behind her. I don't understand anything about this sentence. So Eric is given the mission, and the two behind her need to have a conversation, and then you want to take him to the coffee shop? I don't understand that sentence at all. It begins to begin. I'm unable to endure the silence. Ah, yeah. Oh, you guys are making a mountain out of a molehill. Like, this is a very simple situation. <laughs> like, why is it this difficult? These two are extremely awkward, especially together. Oh my god. My head hurts. I want to see these A's. They're having the time of their lives, apparently. Because <laughs> Wagner doesn't like to ask for shit. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So she has to defer to you, your leadership, Odie, I believe. Yeah, Adelhai knows what's up. These two got to learn from each other. What? What? What, what, what is going on? I know, right? Like, what the fuck are you going on about, Erica Wagner? Okay. Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe she's laughing her ass off, too. Established within the elite crease. Eric Wagner, this noble girl caught up in this ridiculous. No, wait, she is serious about this. I had always thought that she was just a strange girl at heart, and she is. Uh, though it's a bit ridiculous, I guess I just have to be serious about this and give her an explanation. Yes, she did that immediately. With renewal comes pain. It's just like what Lex said before about how the earth fir uh, firms with rainfall. I ready myself and speak my thoughts. What kind of show is that, Woody? She didn't ask for that. She needed to know the situation. Like, what, what is this? リストクライスを導くべき立場である名門の人間。人に答えなど聞かずともおおよその事は理解できていることでしょう。what? Uh, That's not how mission structure works. She's just asking you about the mission and what to fucking do here. So, I do like that the kick-ass BGM is back in full force. あなたのその強さ、剣としての立場、それはもちろん理解しましょう。しかし、
くれるものすべてをきり出向く先は一面焼け野原そこを問題視されていることだってあなたには理解できているはず。So she's just like, stop just to tell her her failures pretty much. Give her a lesson on how she's not doing well. I mean, she's giving her a lesson on how to improve, but that's not really good social etiquette to, you know, this person came to you asking about the mission and you're telling her about her weaknesses. Do not understand why she's telling her all this right now. Just gonna lead to a big problem. Oh, wow. I said she killed somebody. That she accidentally killed somebody. Sounds like she accidentally killed a lot of people. Or purposely killed a lot of people. Wagner no Yesushi. Sono Shorai wa Kiyushi. Kite wa Dichto Christ no Tame. Sing no Tame. She sent a lot of stuff. Osoraku Adel Haito Samoa. Anatani Kenshiki o Hirogete Hoshinga Tame. Yeah, so Orie says something in the very first episode. She said that she overthinks things. Prime example. She just had like three paragraphs worth of dialogue here. So, this isn't what Wagner asked her. And even if this was what Wagner needed to know, giving her all this up front in this speech, not the way to go. Not the way to go. So this right here shows Odier's immaturity. She's laying all this out in front of Erica, and all it's gonna do is piss her off. Mark my words. Oh yeah, that's not the way you handle this. You're just as fucking awkward as she is. Yeah, you fucking gave her everything up front. Like, what the hell? What?、うん Right. That I can respect, and that's why you're here. So that Orie can teach you things to be subtle, unlike herself, who is not very subtle. That's a wise thing to say. Kento, Daisna Mono, Mamoru Tameno Yaiba. Fredemona Subeto Kirinoa, Kenny Arastes. So they were sons and Katarate Kitakoto. Oh, my mother Moga son, the Kirigoto, Konova de Kuchini Surinado. He sasaka son, Orie Varado. Vladia. Orie Vladia, like she would, the way she said that. Slash and burn. That's what she's for. You guys are there to point her in the right direction. That's 
トネがすべてだ。うん。だ、EXS、パワーレベル。Oh, wow. So they're supposed to be, I guess, depowered during the daytime, but even now, Wagner's boiling with、uh, flame. The Flame Tyrant. I wonder, is it, does it have something to do with Surtur of Norse mythology? Say that out loud. Oh, yeah, you need to learn to keep shit to yourself sometimes. Yes, you weren't exactly ordered to have a conversation with her. You weren't ordered to, de to deal with her at all. You both were just sent here. Talking to her was like an extra part of the mission, if I'm not mistaken. Tell the angry girl to calm down. Odia, you're making a lot of bad decisions. You tell her it's for her sake. Oh, you're, you're doing everything wrong. She needs Lex here with her to help her. <laughs> Lex is the brains of the operation. Like, um, Odie is smart, but she's not very good with interpersonal relationships, it seems. That actually fucking worked. Wow. She has stoked being on guard. <laughs> Must not really be mad. She probably testing her or something. What score? Okay. There's a score just because she wanted to fight you right here, right now? Over some. I, I don't know. Oh, by two girls. Interesting. I, I don't really get what's going on between these two anymore. They were about to fight, but Wagner calmed down quite easily both times. So I don't understand. I figured Wagner would be more mad because Odie is just. Were vomiting the whole situation to her and making herself seem to be on a higher plane than Wagner. She's basically talking down to Wagner. That would piss me off. I can only imagine how Wagner would feel about it. So I guess I can understand her being like wanting to fight off of those words exchanged, but. They're acting like they have like this long. I don't know. They, they have some interactions, but they don't really have a rivalry. They just have some like a professional awkwardness between them. But they don't really know each other. I don't understand this. It's so weird. 
devices with their arms, a sign that she wasn't allowed to use her weapons in that moment. Okay. <laughs> Okay. This is a weird sentence, weird pair of sentences. It's cool though to have a bunch of groupies to carry your weapons. I do like that idea. Bloodie. Oh, she can't fight at all? Huh. Oh, she's not going to be able to fight at all. What the fuck I'm talking about? I don't know what either one of you are talking about. Y'all just... This whole interaction was too fucking weird. She... What do you just say? She just says whatever is on her mind. She literally has no filter. Seriously. Seriously. I agree. I agree with Wagner here. Cool. You guys already established this. Honestly, anyone who's annoyed with Ori, I can understand. Dude, you told her everything at once. Can't nobody keep up with all that shit. So, yeah, all this, um, you can just chalk it up to Odier's uh, immaturity. As, as smart as she is, as wise as she is, she's still a teenage girl. So she doesn't, she, she has a lot of good answers, but she doesn't know how to really apply those answers unfortunately like what she's saying is all true but you can't just like blurt all of that out and expect like the situation to resolve itself a lot of times the situation worsens you know even if you have all the answers the person you're talking to won't be completely receptive to those answers especially with the way Ordi presented them here so be careful about that be more careful than Odier was, because she is oblivious. And this proves that this whole thought bubble here. Yeah, and don't fucking narrate the shit out loud. Just just be chill, Odier. Just be fucking chill. Yeah, we, you guys have been talking for fucking ever. I should check the time. Oh, they're gonna keep talking. They're gonna keep talking. They're gonna keep talking. Let me check the time right quick, guys. Because these two are gonna go for another hour. Um, So far, so far they've all been spaced out at about an hour apiece, though. So, probably look forward to like another 35 minutes or so. Okay.
Okay, let's get back to it. Though it's a bit unfortunate that it didn't seem like I could come back with Erica and have tea with her. So this chick is gonna try small talk now after all that? You're gonna try small talk? She just said she was done talking. Wagner just said she was done talking to her and she could because she didn't want to burn her. Right. Oh dear, you weirdo. Well, it worked. So, uh, yeah, take it from, uh, Odier there. That is a good, a good call on her part. Even if you're, um, not sure about talking to somebody, somebody you, re you really want to strike a conversation up with, or somebody that you think you might be awkward around, just go ahead and strike up a conversation anyway. Because, uh, a lot of times people want to talk about stuff themselves or the situation or whatever. Just like Erica here. And she's in a similar uh, situation to Odie, so they actually have quite a bit to talk about here. Get her around some normal people, I guess. So what Edo held? Edo High is probably what Edo High wants. ふ、普段からはそうそう all right, cool. That's the start of the friendship. It's a bit rocky, but there is potential for friendship there. <laughs> mm -hmm. We know what you are, Erica. Starts with the soup. Sundere. I like how uh, Odie gives it right back to her, though. <laughs> yep, you gotta fight back. You gotta fight back. Okay. Yeah, you can tell. That's cool. What do you see is the best in people? Uh, okay. Well, that's the end of that chapter. So, we could do the next chapter. We'll just do one at a time. So, appreciate you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Till next time. Peace.